ChatGPT has been updated for Plus users now with the new GPT store and the new GPT builder. So what we're looking at now, this is the new layout of ChatGPT as of today. Um, we've got a new kind of sidebar opener just there. So you might miss that because I did to begin with, I was like, oh, you can't close the sidebar anymore. That's annoying. But you just click close sidebar. And then I reach this page here by going to explore, which gives you all of the little GPTs made by uh, OpenAI. At the moment, there doesn't appear to be a public marketplace. I would imagine that lots of people have been creating GPTs and some staff of uh, OpenAIs are going through them all now to make sure they're all okay before they gradually start coming out into a publicly available GPT store. A little bit like what happened with the plugins where, you know, they gradually started to come out. Uh, plugins are still around, by the way, and I'll show you how to, to reach them in a moment. But um, at the top here, so we've got Explore, which shows you all of the GPTs. We've got this here where it says Create a GPT, and we're going to do one together. So if you want to learn how to build your own GPT, this video is for you. Stay till the end, and you'll, you'll know exactly how to do it. And then the other good thing that's happened is when we press New Chat, now, you'll see that we don't have uh, them all separated out now, like DALI, browsing, code interpreter, and all of that. We've just got GPT-4, which has got the whole lot bundled in, and then GPT-3.5 is there as well. And there is how you reach plugins. If you want to still use plugins, you still can. You go to the plugin store, and they're all here just like they used to be, so that's fine. But if we go to this method now, you're able to just use GPT-4 with all of the different things in operation. So you can say, hey, write me an article. Now create me an image to go in the article and so on. But let's go and start off and build our very first GPT app. So what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to go to here where it says explore. Then I'm going to click create a GPT. And we've got on our left hand side is where we build it. On the right hand side is where we preview it. And what this is, is it's a way for you to create like a mini chat GPT dedicated to a specific purpose that you're able to share with other people. So it's very useful. Now, in order to share it, they will need a chat GPT plus account themselves, which of course is a great way for OpenAI to get more people to sign up to chat GPT plus. But let's go ahead and create our first app. I am going to make one. A friend of mine runs an auction and I'm going to make an auction listing tool for him to help speed things up. So basically he can upload a photograph of an item into ChatGPT. ChatGPT will analyze the item, decide what it is, and then create an amazing listing that he can put onto his auction listing website. So here we go. Let's get to GPT building. I need you to create an app that helps someone create an excellent quality auction listing for any item that they upload a photo of. There we go. Now let's let's see what it does for us. And we keep working with the GPT tool until we get it the way that we want it. The good thing is, is that when you kind of deem it as done, you are able to go back and add additions and improve it and everything else. So if you're thinking of building one of these GPTs to uh, sell and to a client, for example, you can offer as a service the ongoing maintenance and improvement of that app. So that's another tip for you there. And by the way, while this is just writing out its stuff here, if you're interested in learning more about ChatGPT and everything it can do, come and join my group that with over 8,000 people in. There's a link underneath this video. We're all crazy about AI and ChatGPT and it's free and you can mingle with all of these other fanatics. So here we go. What's it said for us? GPT Builder, great choice. Uh, this GPT will assist in creating auction listings from photos of items. It will suggest details to include, such as descriptions and starting bids, and offer tips to enhance the listing. Now let's give this GPT a name. How about Auction Assistant? Does that sound good? Or did you have another name in mind? I know, I'm going to call it Auction Ace. How's that? Auction Ace would be a good name. Oh God, I've misspelled auction, but 
ChatGPT being ChatGPT, it's most probably going to, uh, hopefully, yeah, there we go. It's corrected me. Auction Ace it is. Next, I'll generate an initial profile picture for Auction Ace. So over here on the right-hand side, you can see that it's got this icon at the moment. It's now going to use Dali to create a profile picture to go in there to help kind of advertise your app when it goes publicly available. And there we are. Look, we've got a flash kind of AI looking robot hammer. That's pretty cool. I like that. There we are. Here's the initial profile picture for Auction Ace. What do you think? So I could at this point refine it and ask it to be more old fashioned or, you know, do it in green or whatever I wanted and it would then reproduce a new one. But I think that's okay now. So we can go here to this bit here where it says configure. This is what it's created as a result of the instructions and the chat that we've had with it. So description helps create auction listings from item photos. And then the instructions that it's generated for itself from our chat. Now at the bottom, you've got add actions. And I haven't used this and I don't need to at the moment, but basically like it says there, it lets your GPT receive information or take actions outside of chat GPT. And there's a link right there to go and learn more about how you can do that. So this is the more complicated stuff. Uh, for you to be able to create some very interesting things. But most people probably won't need actions. So now that we're done, I'm happy. Here's how our preview of Auction Ace. I'm just going to save it. And when I save it, you'll see here, it, I can publish it to be available for just me, uh, for people who have a link, or by making it public, as you can see there, it says the GPT may appear in the GPT store coming soon. So there's our clue. So if we make it public, don't expect to see it suddenly, but it will be available hopefully when that GPT store comes out and all of those poor OpenAI staff have finished approving all of these different apps that are being created all around the world right now, I'm sure. So I'm gonna make mine public and click confirm and it'll just take a second or two. There we go, that's that, done. And we've got it, so here it is now. Here it is in our own account. Let's test it out. I'll just shrink this sidebar down so we can focus. And I'm gonna upload my first item to my new Auction Ace GPT. I'm gonna go and grab uh, something off my desktop. Here's the first thing I'm gonna grab is a picture of a Euro coin. So let's see. Um, what it will do with this for us. Please create an auction listing for the item I have just uploaded. Let's see. How, now imagine if you're an auction owner and you've got like hundreds of items that have been brought in by people, all sorts of different items. If you take some really good photos, combine them into one photo, so lots of squares, different angles of the same product, maybe if it's got any dates on it or anything like that, that will really help ChatGPT to be able to do this. So here you go, look at the description. Item description for sale uh, is a collectible 2002 European Union coin. The coin features the iconic design of the Brandenburg Gate, symbolizing the division and subsequent unification of Germany. Look at that, It just from that picture there, First of all, you know, wow, the image recognition is obviously amazing because it's picked out 2002 from that coin. It's identified the Brandenburg Gate, which I'm sure, yes, we can see it, but it, it's all blended in with a rough old coin and it's still managed to get it, you know, so that is incredible. It stated the condition. The coin is in a circulated condition with signs of regular handling and wear. Amazing. And then it suggested a starting bid of $1.00. Uh, and then enhancing your listing to increase the appeal of your listing, consider including information about the coin's history. And, and then it's got like shipping information, payment, return policy and everything else. So I would probably just adjust the instructions on that particular GPT, just to say, don't bother giving me advice, just write the listing out and provide some history of the item if you know it. So let's try something else now. Let's try and see if it, this will be really tricky, I would imagine. And I'm gonna uh, see if it will produce an auction listing for my bonsai tree. I'm not gonna tell it what it is either. Please create an auction listing for the item I have just uploaded. Wow, it, well, it's, it's certainly picked out that it is a bonsai. Up for auction is a beautifully colorful 
cultivated indoor bonsai tree known for its serene presence and artful appearance. The bonsai is in excellent health with well-maintained root system and vibrant foliage. That's crazy. And then it suggested a starting bid of $50 uh, and then given me advice again on how to um, enhance the listing. It hasn't identified what it is, but I could ask it. I might just ask it. Can you please add what plant variety the bonsai is? I would be surprised if it managed to identify the actual bonsai. I mean, that's pretty hard. So to accurately add the variety of bonsai plants to your auction listing, you would typically need to know the specific species. Since I can't physically examine the plant or have a detailed view of its leaves and structure, I cannot provide a definitive identification of the species. But it has got it right because it says it could possibly be a type of ficus, which is a common choice for indoor bonsai due to its resilience and attractive appearance. So amazing, it has correctly identified the plant, even though it said that it probably couldn't do it, it has done it. So that's amazing. Let's try one more item now, just to see if this auction builder has done a good job. This is actually just a book, um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, real famous book. Let's see if it can do this one. Please list the attached book for my auction. Hopefully it can identify. Auction listing, increase your financial IQ by Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, presenting a pre-loved copy of Increase Your Financial IQ, the renowned author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Condition, book is in good condition with signs of consistent uh, with reading and use, signs of wear. So, you know, it's picked out, if we zoom in, it's picked out like the little rough edges and everything else. I mean, the accuracy uh, of the image recognition of this is amazing. It's also obviously being able to read the text on the book as well, because it's identified exactly what book it is. So phenomenal. I mean, can you imagine the time saver this would be for any auctioneer who's looking to um, be able to just quickly list items that would normally have to type all this out. It's such a time saver. And this is just a rough and ready version. If I really went to town on this, I'll bet I could improve it and make it, you know, perfect. So that is a, a demonstration of how you can create your own GPT. There's obviously a million different uses for this. It's off the chart. You can create ones for doing just about anything that you can imagine. And all you need is a, a $20, you know, ChatGPT Plus account at this point. And so remember, you're able to share this bot. You can also share this, the conversations as well, just there. And if we go to, you can copy a link to it. Uh, you can send it to people privately. You can do all kinds of different things. But the, the point is now is that it is always going to be available to me if I open it up right there, uh, ready for me personally to use. And then obviously if I share it with someone else, it's gonna be um, incredible. I can sell access to it, I can do whatever I want. So um, that's it, the incredible updates from ChatGPT. And again, if you would like to learn more about ChatGPT and you wanna be part of a big community of ChatGPT fans, all sharing and learning about ChatGPT, come and join my group. The link is underneath this video, it's completely free. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. And thanks very much for watching. Take care.